Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all my empties, products that I've finished over the course of a year. It's been over a year. I have been collecting these only for YouTube purposes. Now I want to talk about two lip balms. One is this lip balm right here. So this is more of an oil-based lip balm. It was rather expensive and mm, I'm not really a fan. It was a really nice lip balm, but I just felt like I needed to reapply this constantly. And that tends to happen with more oil-based lip balms. They just soak into the lips and then they're gone. And so your lips just get drier quicker and then you end up having to reapply all the time. And that's really the only issue I had with this. I just had to reapply it far too many times and that got a bit annoying. But other than that, it was lovely. It has a bit of a vanilla scent i will not repurchase though this one i love this is my laneige lip balm oh my god this is my favorite lip balm to date except maybe one other which is nukes if you haven't tried nukes is amazing i have already repurchased it i bought a brand new one so this is berry and i got caramel caramel just gives a beautiful warm tone tint to my lips so i really love how caramel looks on my lips versus how berry looked now i love laneige for the reason that i don't have to reapply this all the time i think the maximum i need to reapply this product is three times in the day so first time is first thing in the morning after you know you wash your face you take a shower whatever apply some lip balm and then maybe if i've eaten a lot of food in the afternoon after lunch and then at night time before bed that's it only three times and many many days i've only used this twice a day and that's it and because it just hangs around it's uh it's a type of formula that doesn't easily go away with just eating and drinking. It hangs around, but it's not sticky. It's not tacky. It doesn't feel overly thick. Like, for example, the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, that one is really sticky and thick and tacky. And although that's a beautiful lip balm as well, I can't wear that all the time because I can just feel that tackiness on the lips cat fur will attach to it my horn hair will attach to it so i can't really wear that very often unless i'm just going to bed but this one i can wear all the time i can wear this under a mask it doesn't smear horribly or anything like that it's just a beautiful beautiful lip product which is why i repurchased the jar already i wasn't going to repurchase it i thought i was going to finish the lip balms i currently have because i've got quite a few in the house and once I finished this and I w was using some of those other lip balms, I just got so annoyed with having to reapply all the time that I caved in and I bought it again. It is a bit expensive, definitely more than worth the money for me. So this is the shade Caramel. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells like caramel as well. If you love the scent of caramel, mm, this is the one to check out. I believe these ones are limited edition. So let's talk about some skincare. I'm going to start off with some cleansers. I have, of course, finished up an all clean balm. I have talked about this a few times on my channel. Love this cleanser. It just emulsifies so beautifully on the skin. There are no clumps or anything like that. Just melts into the skin, takes away all the makeup, easy to rinse off and rinses off clean. It doesn't leave like an oily residue behind, which I really appreciate. And it's also affordable. So amazing, amazing product. I have purchased tons and tons of these over the years, like tubs and tubs and tubs, too many to count. I also ended up purchasing from the same brand, their green foam. This lasted me forever. I swear, this has lasted me like two years because you only need the teeny tiniest amount. Like maybe just like this much, like that's what, how much you need and that's it. It foams up really well. And so that teeny tiny amount emulsifies and foams up and just really thoroughly cleans your face without leaving you stripped or dry. So not only well worth the money, but a really good money investment because if you do end up buying this, I feel like it will last you forever. It is more of a gel cleanser. I just wanna let you know. So if you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend this. Um, I, it's probably better for normal to, to, normal to combo and oily. Loved this one. So this is the Kale very very popular youth to the people really enjoyed this very gentle very different to the green foam this doesn't really foam up 
to the same level. It forms up only a little bit. I did finish this very quickly and I think it's just that psychological thing where when a product doesn't form up, you just feel like applying more and more just to feel like something is cleansing your face. And so that's the problem that I had with this. I felt like I needed to use a lot of product, feel like my skin is cleansed. And so I ended up finishing this in a matter of months. Whereas that cleanser lasted me for two years. This lasted me only a few months. And so I'm probably not going to buy this again, but it was beautiful. It has a very light herbal scent, non-drying whatsoever, great product. Next up, if you're in Australia, New Zealand, you would be aware of the brand Mecca Cosmetica. I have the micellar water and really dislike this. I felt like it did nothing. Um, you could use this to remove your makeup, but I didn't like it. I found it a little bit drying and I just, I really, really didn't like this. So I'm going to say no to this one. Normally with micellar waters, they are able to remove makeup quite well. I felt like the Mecca one is okay to remove some makeup, but like eye makeup, it did a very bad job at removing eye makeup. I felt like if I use this, I have to then go in with a balm cleanser and then go in with a third cleanser pointless and so no, I would not recommend it. I also finished up a sample of the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This is pretty good and I know this is affordable. If I had to pick between this and All Clean Balm, I would pick All Clean Balm hands down and that's more to do with texture. Both of them remove makeup equally well. It's just that the Good Molecules one, which is from Beautylish, it would form clumps. And so while you are digging your finger in there and you're rubbing it in, like you still have clumps on your finger. It wouldn't melt straight away. And then you're applying it on the face and it still has a little bit of clumps. I mean, eventually they would melt in, but it's not a pleasant experience like it is with this one. So although it is a good cleanser and it works, it's just because of texture that I would prefer this one. Ah, what a beautiful product. This is from Laneige. This is their cream skin toner and moisturizer. It says for normal to dry skin, I have combination skin and I love this for the winter time, not for summer. It is way too heavy for me for summer, but for winter, it is perfection. It did not irritate my skin whatsoever. It was very hydrating. All I needed to do was wash my face, pop this on, then apply a serum and then my moisturizer. And really that was it. I would purchase this again. Posarx Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. This product also lasted me a very long time. I have talked about this before. Excellent, excellent hydrating product. If you're looking for something that is going to hydrate your skin, but also be lightweight. This is more like a gel and it's really beautiful. It soaks right in and so affordable and very effective. Next up, this is not affordable, definitely high end. And this is from Nini Organics. This is the Crimson Serum. This has a very strong scent and the scent comes from nothing synthetic, but it's from their sort of hydrosols and extracts that they use in this product. So that's where the scent is coming from. It is beautiful, but it definitely smells like perfume. For some of you, I know that will put you off and that's totally fine. I kind of really enjoyed the experience with this. Most of the time, my skincare tends to be fragrance free and that's how I like it. But once in a while, I'll pop in a product that I really enjoy the scent of. And this is just one of those products that really made you feel like you're at a spa because of that scent. And so I really enjoyed that. It was also very hydrating. So certainly a pleasure to use. One of my favorite moisturizers is from Hara Labo. This is the Goku Yun. This is the light version. That's all I know. But this is the one that I love. This is very, very lightweight. I can use this as a moisturizer, like a standalone moisturizer in summer. And then in winter, I love layering it. So I'll put, I'll have my serums on, then I'll put a layer of this, and then I'll put another moisturizer on top because in New Zealand, winters can be quite dry. And so layering moisturizers can be really helpful. The ingredient list for this is also really good. There, I don't see any harmful ingredients in this. There, there's also fragrance free, no alcohol, yes i will purchase this again so i did repurchase this but i got the wrong one so for example here are the two this is the one that has a very lightweight moisturizing texture and this is the one i repurchased which is totally different now this one is called 
um, well at least in English so right here it says moisture milk and when I think about a moisture milk I think it's a very light and fluid texture which this one is but it's not lightweight like this one so this one is perfect for me in terms of using it all year round however this one is very hydrating feels quite heavy in summer I can't really use this in summer so I'm planning on using this during the winter time I think during the winter time this would probably be my standalone moisturizer because it's very hydrating love 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 the youth to the people adaptogen deep moisture cream i have repurchased this already i just don't have it here with me i love this cream this is not a cream i can use year round so for me i cannot use this in summer it's too heavy but i can use it as an eye cream in the summer however in winter and in fall i can use this as a face cream and even in spring so for most of the year i can use it it's really in the dead of heat that i can't use it it's too rich but I love this. It works so well under makeup. It also works really well as a night cream, day cream. It works beautifully under the eye. Concealer applies really well on top of this as well. So I really enjoyed this. Immensely, immensely enjoyed this. It is very expensive, but I have repurchased it already, just like Hada Labo. I love Hada Labo. So those are the two recommendations I have for you. One is affordable, one is a bit more expensive. I also finished up the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This is good, but I don't think I will repurchase it. It did reduce some of my inflammation, but I have another product that I'll show you that is better for inflammation. So that's the only thing that I think this product is helpful if you can't get azelaic acid, for example, that's the one I'm talking about. So azelaic acid works really well for me when it comes to calming down redness and inflammation. And so although this is good, I would just rather just use the azelaic acid. So still a pretty good cream and I did finish the jar. This is 20% azelaic acid. I have used this for acne so any breakouts that i get i use this i also use this for hyperpigmentation it does take a while for you to see results with hyperpigmentation for this you do need to get your first get your skin used to this and then of course you will start seeing results i would say at the perhaps a one and a half month to two month mark but it's worth the effort i love this product it really makes a difference in making sure that pigmentation fades away as well as when i get those breakouts the, they don't leave such a dark mark whereas normally they would leave a dark mark and so i have already <laughs> repurchased this again in new zealand you can get this over the counter but in your country that might be different you may need a prescription to get the 20 percent strength i finished up the pink and yule Moisturizer. This was really lovely. I finished the whole jar. A very lovely, lightweight moisture cream. I was able to use this all year round and I enjoyed it. My favorite sunscreen of all time is from the brand Mecca Cosmetica. If you're in Australia and New Zealand, you'll have access to this. So this right here is the sunscreen. So once you rub it in, it doesn't leave any white marks on the skin. It's very lightweight and hydrating. Wait, I'm just going to rub it in. So once you rub it in, um, it doesn't leave any tint to the skin. It is lightweight, it is hydrating, it doesn't have that weird sunscreen scent. It's beautiful and it works really well under makeup as well. So really enjoy this. And I have bought several, several tubes of this. So it's no surprise that I finished this one. All right, let's talk about some hair. So this is the brand Ethique. I tried their Heal Kiwi Solid Shampoo for touchy scalp. So my scalp can get um, these flakes, these dry flakes. I find that it actually helped. I love that this does not have fragrance. So if you have a sensitive scalp, you want to make sure you don't use anything with fragrance. And this is fragrance free. And that is fantastic. It didn't leave my hair feeling really dull or lifeless. Or sometimes those shampoo bars can be really weird. I didn't find that. Really enjoyed this. Lasted a really decent time for me as well. It didn't finish very quickly like normal shampoo bars do. So definitely enjoyed this product. I also finally finished off my Christoph my Christoph Robin shampoo. So this is the cleansing mask with lemon. This is lovely and hella expensive. 
but oh my god this is so beautiful there's a whole process with this product so you can't just apply it like a normal shampoo and then wash it out you have to do a bit of a process you take a little bit of product emulsify it with some water work it in work it in take some water work it in work it in take some water work it in work it in and then maybe take some more product work it in work it in take some water work it in work it in like you've got to do these repetitions a few times with taking some water and working it in and then taking some wood and working it in so it can make your shower routine a little bit extensive and you have to do those steps because otherwise you're not going to get the same result with your hair and i've tested this out you don't however if you follow the instructions for this mask it's stunning if you're someone who has like dry damaged hair I think you will really enjoy this because it's really nourishing but it didn't weigh my hair down and the other thing with this is if you have fine hair like mine just don't use a lot of it if you use a lot of it it will end up weighing your hair down but you know once you learn how to use this product you learn how to use the right amount and the technique it's amazing I can hands down see myself repurchasing this beautiful product and I did use a conditioner after this because I can't really step out of the shower without conditioner. So sometimes when I skipped the conditioner, I felt like my hair really didn't need a conditioner, but I still added just a little bit. So this is the Joico Blue Shampoo. This is fantastic if you're someone who has naturally dark hair, you're a brunette and you've colored your hair and you wanna stop it from going brassy, this is a product to use. Sorry, this is not a shampoo, this is the blue conditioner. Now, I do think you will probably see some great results if you use the shampoo plus the conditioner, but when I went to purchase this, I could only find the conditioner, so I only ended up getting this. And this was during the time when I had colored hair, and this was during all these lockdowns with COVID, and I couldn't really get to a hairdresser to top up my color. And this really saved my hair and stopped it from looking brassy and horrible. So highly recommend this one for those of you who may have colored tresses and you are a brunette. Also finished up the Olaplex Bond Smoother. This is a heat protectant. It helps with frizz. It helps to keep your hair looking nice and shiny. It adds a little bit of volume and it protects from the heat. All rounded product. Love it. Loved it. And I can see myself buying this again. And I actually really want to try the bonding oil. One of you told me about the bonding oil. So that's probably going to be my next purchase. Now for the body, I finished up the Pure Fiji Body Butter. This is amazing. It really gives you that glossy sheen to the skin that looks really sexy. This is my second tub. I, I bought frangipani the first time. This is white ginger lily and out of the two, I definitely prefer the frangipani. However, if you want something that's not gonna contrast too much with your perfume, you're probably better off with white gingerly because the scent isn't as strong as the frangipani version. I will absolutely repurchase a third tube of this because this is my favorite body butter to date. It really gives you that beautiful glossy sexy sheen that you want and so I love this product. Um, I also have um, these Neogen these are these exfoliant pads that I got for the body. I think these were okay. I really didn't use these consistently enough to be able to see a result. So I only really used them as I remember them and on and off really when I felt like my body needed a bit of exfoliation. So I can't really say whether this is good or not because I didn't really give this a fair go, but I doubt I'll repurchase. Um, here I have the Acai Body Power Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Uh, lovely cream, uh, smells gorgeous but i really like the original version oh it does smell really good the thing with this cream is it has a bit of a pink tint and a bit of a shimmer so i personally didn't like that and so for me if i had to pick between this one and the original cream which was i'm forgetting the name up I'll, I'll pop it on the screen i will go with that one that one is beautiful. What I love about those creams is that the scent really hangs around for a long period of time. And that's the only reason why I would repurchase Sol de Janeiro, um, because the cream itself is all the although lovely and hydrating, it's possibly not worth the money, but because the scent lasts a long time on me, 
I would repurchase. And then lastly, I have here an Innisfree green tea sleeping mask. This was a total impulse buy. Like, I did not research it. I just was at the Korean store and I saw it and I ended up buying it. And it smells nice, but I felt like it didn't do anything for me. I didn't feel like it gave me any hydration. I just, I will not repurchase. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching, but this is it. It's a very long video. I wonder if you have managed to stick through to the end. Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. See ya.